I'm James Nave. I'm Allegra Houston. And welcome to the Imaginative Storm Riding Prompt of the Week session. We are coming to you live from the Leaf Festival outside of Asheville, North Carolina, where we've been doing some writing workshops um, and still doing our Prompt of the Week every Saturday. Yeah, so this morning, in between the writing workshops we're doing here at the Leaf Festival, we held our Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week session and we gathered with the regular writers and some new people who came on the Zoom call, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, noon Eastern Time. Imagine it is storm.com if you'd like to know more about it. And maybe you'll join us one of these Saturdays. Um, and in the meantime, we will share with you, as we always do, the prompt that we did on the Zoom call. And what we would like for you to do when the prompt comes up, we would like for you to take two minutes. We'll time the two minutes so you don't have to worry about it. And generate words based on, on what you see, based on the image. You can start with the first word and, and go from there and it can pop out of your imagination or it, you can let yourself be inspired by the image itself. And the words don't have to connect to each other, they don't have to connect to the image, and just keep them as a list, a random list of words or very short phrases like, you know, who goes there or how are you or whatever, something like that. So we will put the image up now, time you for two minutes as you generate that list of words. So you have your list of words, your personal list. Every Saturday morning after the image is finished, we ask the people on the Zoom call to give us one word or phrase from, the, from their list and we ask them to, uh, and then we write those words and phrases down on a piece of paper. And so Allegra will now read those words to you. So that you will have the same community list that everybody on the call worked with. And the nice thing about that, of course, is that you can borrow from other people's imaginations and you don't have to just rely on your own. So here is the community list from the prompt this morning. Gastronomic connoisseur, handbags at dawn, too much gossip, hot stewed, gustatory sensation, grotesque gourmet, Belted Kingfisher, Glamour Puss, Quaffed, Kidney Pie, Stylish, 1950s, No Means No, Hello You, Eel, Wheel and Deal, Cinched Lives, Postal Fair, 
I'm starving. Delicacies still wiggling. So now you have the community list we generated this morning, plus you have your own personal list. What we would like for you to do now is to take 10 minutes and generate something. Anything. <laughs> whatever you please, using the community list as well as, as your personal list. If you want to. Oh, right. You don't have to use any of it, actually. You're right about that. But usually we do use a little bit just to get us started. So let the community list and your personal list bump you, inspire you, prompt you, and start. And just go for 10 minutes. And see where it takes you. It can be poetry or prose. It can be fiction or nonfiction. It can be as short as a haiku or pages and pages if you write really fast. <laughs> um, you don't need to know what you're going to write before you start. Just pick a word to start from and go from there. You might never return to the list of words at all or you might keep coming back to them for more inspiration. It's really all just toys for your imagination to play with. It doesn't have to be coherent. It doesn't have to make any sense whatsoever. All it has to do is be interesting and fun for you to write. And if you've tuned into any of these videos before, you know that we always say, let your imaginative mind do all of the creative work stay in your rational mind and let your imaginative mind inform your rational mind with the creative work that you're doing right now and it's like a dance you let your um, go ahead you say it Legra okay, likes to say this so she's going to say it <laughs> so it's a dance between your imagination and your rational mind and the key is to let your imagination be the one that leads the dance so hey how about this your dance begins now
If what you wrote pleases you, we would appreciate it if you post your work on our Imaginative Storm Circle community. It's a place where the writers on Saturday morning post and people are doing it more and more and we're able to read the work, respond, make some comments, get to know you better and that's part of what we're doing here, getting to know each other better. So here's how you do it. So when you go to imaginativestorm.com, you'll see the Zoom link for the Saturday morning writing prompt of the week here and also here. And if you continue to scroll down, you will find join us on Circle. Click that link. And when you get there for the first time, you will find a, a thing sort of up here in the top right saying join or, or you know, log in or something like that. I can't remember. So you can log in with your Google or Facebook ID or create a new ID and password. It's free. And when you've done that, it will look like this. So here are four spaces that explain to you kind of what we're about and what we're doing here on the circle. And over on the left, you will see this area, share your writing. And here is prompt of the week. Click on that. And you will see all the prompts of the week since we first started doing this in order from most recent at the top. So when you get there, the most recent prompt will be posted. We usually, we have it posted by um, the end of the day on Saturday. And when you click on it, you'll see the prompt itself, the community list, and then whatever pieces of writing the other people who've done the prompt have posted. And those are comments attached to the post. So if you scroll down to the bottom, like so, you will get to a place where it's inviting you to make a comment. And that's where you can type out what you wrote to the prompt. I don't know if you noticed as I was scrolling through, there was one person here who actually recorded a selfie video of herself reading what she wrote and she posted that. So feel free to do that if you would like to do that. When you've posted a comment, other people can hit like or hit reply if they want to comment specifically um, and say, you know, what in the piece popped for them. Feel free to, to um, add those, you know, those comments, those uh, moments of praise for what other people have written. We ask you not to be critical because, as you know, these are pieces that are only written in 10 minutes. So um, criticism, negative criticism um, is really, you know, just not relevant. What we want to know as writers is what we've created that has energy, what pops for you as a reader, what do you find surprising and intriguing. So if you have that response to a piece of somebody else's that you read here, please do hit reply and let them know. Also over here, you will see a space to post for the daily prompts that we put on social media. And here, one last lunch. I won't tell you much about it other than that it's a book that I contributed to. And I think it's one of the most interesting writing prompts ever devised. So I do encourage you to try that out as well. So again, please do post on The Circle. Now that you know how to do it, we would love to get to know you. And we would, would really enjoy it if you took the time out of your Saturday to join us for our Imaginative Storm uh, uh, writing prompt of the week session. It's always free. Always free, always. always at noon Eastern time. And it lasts an hour. Often there's a sort of after chat that goes longer than an hour, but we are done in an hour. So if you only have an hour to spare in your day, um, you can join us. And we also offer some workshops as well. And the next one coming up well, it's sold out. It's the sold memoir out. workshop is, is sold out, but we're going to have a memoir workshop again in, in August or maybe sooner, depending on if people ask for it. And the next one coming up is in June. What is it, June? The first week of June. First I week of June. Eighth, but you will, find, you will find this information, which we can't look up right now because we're not carrying that with us through this festival, at imaginativestorm.com. The first week of June, we have a workshop on landscape. It will be for three hours. Um, in the evening, afternoon to evening, depending on which time zone you're in. And at the end of June, we will have one on developing character. So thanks ever so much for tuning in. Again, imaginativestorm.com if you'd like to know more about all of this. And we appreciate your attention and hope to see you again soon. Thank you.
Goodbye.